Yo, what is up guys, JD0 bringing you a interesting battle spot, free Wi-Fi battle with me, JD0. Today, today, as you can see on the title, we're going to be flinching some people. We're going to make some people rage quick. This is a rage quick battle. This is a freaking DQ type of battle, my guys. We, we're doing some forfeiting. We're trying to forfeit, make people forfeit today on a free Wi-Fi battle because we're trying to make it very interesting. So we're just going to go ahead, get into the match, and see if we could just dis disappoint a lot of people today. We're going to make it special mons because we, we want to make it special for everybody. We're just letting everybody use their special event Pokemon. You know... We gotta do it like that. We gotta like make them really just, uh, you know, just hate our guts for you know choosing the mods that we have. And we're gonna use the cancel theme Pokemon Wi-Fi battles or Pokemon theme Wild battles or trainer battles. I think it's Pokemon Wild battles. So let's see what we got here today. We got a. Hmm, Volipi, or is that a, it's not Volipi, it's the other one, it's with the eye. We got a Greninja, Tritanitar, Metal Girls, I'm thinking it's a Mega Metal Girls. Uh, we do have Thunderous in this other form, we do have the, uh, Memoswine, oh my gosh, wow. Already, already with the, uh, Disconnect, so we're just gonna go ahead and select our mons so we can uh, actually recontinue from where we start off because they already DQ. We're already starting off with a DQ, okay. They didn't like what we had, so they already DQ. So that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. We get to find another match today. Um. Hopefully this time we don't get DQ'd again from these people, but hey, you know, it is what it is. You know what? We're gonna start off with Shaman Sky. And then everything is follow afterwards. Very, very OP team we got here. It looks like very OP. There's the Necrozma Dust Main. That's interesting. We got a little bit of a Mewtwo and, uh... Yvelta. Yeah, it's like a wild Pokemon battle theme song. Yeah, too bad. But again, we're gonna try to make people rage quick. So I guess you could say the title is basically a battle spot rage quick. Uh, quick. Quick. Quick, 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 quick. I say quick, but quit. It's a rage quit type of battle. Okay, so he sends out the Mewtwo. I'm guessing either he has that Mewtwo being Mega, so that's an interesting thing. We're gonna go for the Air Slash because Air Slash does do a pretty good amount of damage. It is a Mewtwo wide, so it is Mega. That's a good thing, but it does not outspeed the Shaman Sky. We're still able to outspeed the Shaman, it's outspeed it. And get a flinch off. So. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. This is why you shouldn't bring legendaries to a flinch type team. I mean even though I'm using a legendary Pokemon as myself. But. It's more likely to. Get that understanding. Of why you shouldn't bring bringing legendaries to. A person who's gonna be able to flinch your whole entire team. So that's what we're pretty much gonna be doing today. Uh, this is a choice specs. Uh, it's a choice specs Shaman Sky. Uh, it's supposed to be a choice scarf, but you know a lot of things don't really necessarily outspeed in battle spot. And I already have one person who's being choice scarf right now. And that's the Togekiss, so, you know, having a choice big Shaman Sky is good enough with the speed that it has, because it does outspeed a lot of mods. Ovulus Wing. Oh my. 
That should do a pretty good amount. Oh my, it did a lot. Woo! That, that is good. Shaman's guy needs to be able to flinch this mon. And this, this, and this, this Yvalto has Sucker Punch. It does not. But the Shaman's guy needs to flinch him. There we go. And all he needs to do is flinch him again. Ah, uh, wasn't able to flinch him again. But put him down and get enough so he doesn't get all his health back. So that's a good thing. That's a plus side of it. He didn't get all his health back. But that also puts us in an opportunity to pit out our Togekiss that is Choice Scarf. That definitely outspeeds his last two mons. So I should be able to get an Air Slash off and KO his uh, his Yuvalto. So that's a good thing. That's a plus side to this entire match here. Sucks that he wasn't able to like, uh, just says, oh no, he's going to take me head on. So usually I get matches like that where they still take me head on. Usually they don't. I'm surprised he is. This is a primal ground on. Interesting. Very, very interesting. A primal ground on. That is interesting. Hmm. What can we do against this primal ground on? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. We're just gonna go for an air slash because that's the only effective move right now. And since against for your choice scarf, we can't really choose any other moves. I mean, I could switch out, sack off the Jirachi, but that's not happening. Today, we're just gonna try to see if we can flinch him with just the Togekiss. Let's see if he forfeits or not. He does not forfeit. He's still staying in. He's gonna try to still take the hits. I still able to flinch him again for the second round. We're gonna go for another air slash. Is he gonna say forfeit or is he gonna take the L? Yep, he is able to forfeit the match. I that was, that's all we could do. Have you forfeit the match, my dude? So, G to that, GG to that dude. Because, again, that's what we're here for. To freaking flinch people. Try to have people uh, get rage quick. Quick. I always get the thing freaking letter, you know, that it's that one syllable, not the one syllable, like that one pronunciation of the word where, you know, you want to say quit, but you get quick. Rage, quit. Yeah. Oh, oh, this person has a shame in sky. Oh, okay. This might be a choice scarf, Shaman's guy. Ah, ah, I like this. I like this. Okay. Hmm. This might be a very good, interesting match here. Hmm. 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 Welcome to the Rage Quick Battles. Of battle spot. There we go. That's the title of this. So she sends out the Zygarde. We're gonna go ahead, give it the whole air slash effect. Try to flinch it. Does get a little bit of its health back up with the leftovers. It is one of the Zygards that changes form, so I'm guessing he's gonna go into his perfect form here. Yep, there we go. We got the 100% Zygarde in our face. We're going to go ahead and go for another Air Slash. Because again, like I said, we do outspeed this particular Pokemon. And we should be able to get another flinch off. There we go. Shameless guy, you know what to do. You know how to get these flinches, my dude. We're going to go for another Air Slash. 
this air shot should be able to take it out. If not, clinch it. Yep, there we go. There we go. Mm-hmm. That's that's how we do it. That's how we do it. Since our Mew. Hmm. Hmm. Mew. Okay. 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 Interesting Mew. Interesting Mew. We're gonna go ahead and air slash and does a good amount of damage. Wasn't able to flinch it. So she was able to go for the uh, interesting little psychic move that's the signature psychic move, I'm assuming, right? Yep. So here's the thing about uh, these type of moves. I am gonna have like pictures up here uh, blocking off the signature Z move because again you know how signature moves are kind of copyrighted for things that they are those are basically the situations that I'm going to be dealing with so I'm not able to like deal with that so you know I don't want to get copyrighted for oh someone using their signature Z move it's not happening today it's just generally not. Mm -mm, it's not happening today. So she sends out the Marshadow. Okay, so Marshadow should be able to take me out with the. Uh, I'm guessing with Shadow Sneak. Oh, it's not gonna even use Shadow Sneak. Okay, could have taken me out with a Shadow Sneak. Could have saved it if you would have taken me out with a Shadow Sneak. GG, that's shocking, surprising. Okay. Oh well, I mean, she could have took me out with with that move and pivot in the next opponent, but I guess not. Oh, um, we're gonna go ahead and get one more match in, and we're gonna record some other matches as well, and then uh, we should be able to go ahead and do something that's gonna be. Very interesting. Let's see what we got here. Okay. So we got someone from Japan. So far, we only had at least two people rage quick and one stayed in to uh, just take the loss. Well, that's not too bad. I was hoping to get three in a row, but we might still be able to get a uh, one more match. We should be able to get it in this match, our fourth match, at least. If not, if not. You know, it's one of those things where we either get that or we don't get it. But we should be able to get it in our fourth match. Mm -mm. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Just having a hard time choosing the, the team there. Yeah, it's a hard time choosing the team. That's interesting. How is it that hard to choose a team when you're from Japan? Trying to figure out my team, I guess. That's always the case with that. I mean, I think that's the only way you could do it is try to figure it out is going through it in such a way where it's like, oh, how would I work this out? How would I work that out? Mm. Okay. So, Stan is coming up. I'd still be able to outspeed this, and I'd still be able to air slash it. So, it really depends on what he does. He withdraws, sends out the Gyarados, I guess, sent out Gyarados to get the Timonate, but again, I'm not a, phys a physical mon, so I'm not really worried. And I do get a good chunk of it. 
of his HP, so that's a good thing. Uh, we're gonna go for another air slash and another air slash shit one shot. Well, basically, it's guaranteed two shot kill right here because there was no health going back up, so one more air slash should be able to take it out. Low Blaker is not gonna do anything to me. And then there's the air slash. And there we go. KO the Gyarados. So who is your next mon? Choose wisely. Choose wisely. Pokia. Interesting. A shiny Pokia. Interesting. Let's go ahead and go for another air slash. Again, the most effective move on my move slot that I can use against you. Let's see what happens. We do get the flinch. There we go. We got the potential flinch. That's that's all we needed. Is the potential flinch. Now we could go for another air slash. And the air slash should take it out or go and it goes for another flinch. It does take it out for the range. Okay. So, at this moment in time, he's either he selects his mod and forfeit the match, or selects the mod and DQs and turns off the internet. Oh, turn off the Wi Fi. It'll turn off the game, per se. Or close the game. Because he could do that, or he could take the actual match accordingly so it was able to get the air slash off it does do a completely good amount of damage where it could have been two shot it we do get the flinch the sand does go away he is at his last mon we have three mons still perfectly at full health he does forfeit we're able to get our third forfeit match our second fourth match and that's pretty good. That's pretty good for the whole entirety of the game. We're able to get uh, two forfeits and one DQ, and we was able to get you know one who actually wanted to, to take the loss, let the Pokemon die. So again, GG to everybody. Uh, again, I, I mean, I'll, even though I'm kind of a dick about you know flinching guys, but that was the whole point. That was the whole point of this series to rage quick, you know. So, if you guys enjoyed this match, enjoy the whole essence of this match, comment, share, subscribe, guys, the like button, picture, girl, shades on, stay awesome, guys. Bye!